Hi, in this video you will learn how to set up a Twitter wall for your event. You will need access to a website, a Twitter stream aggregator, and a projector. So I'm using Weebly as the website platform. All I need to be able to do is embed some HTML, so I've just added that module. I'm going to go to Cover It Live, and that's my Twitter stream aggregator. So create an account and log in. So when you log in, on the left hand side, just below my account, you'll see Add New, so you're adding a new event. Next, there's a very uh, short sort of wizard to go through. So you need to give your event a title and a location. And a location, you just need to specify a URL, and this is really sort of your website, and uh, this is the page that your projector will be pointing to. So I'm going to copy that URL, go back to Cover It Live, paste it there, enter Category, and hit Next. So this is the HTML that you'll be embedding into the website later on. We'll come back to that in a second. First, uncheck these boxes and simply check off Add Twitter Feeds. Add any users you want to follow. And most importantly, add some search terms um, and some hashtags. In this case, I know uh, Russia and China um, it's trending on Twitter right now, so I'm just going to add that in. You can add the hashtags. And don't launch your event yet. Just hit save. So your event has moved from Add New into Upcoming. What you want to do is just hover over some of these icons and you'll see it says Post to Site. So just click that and you'll get the HTML embed code basically. So just copy that, go to your website and paste it there. Now the default width is just about 470 sort of pixels wide so you might want to make that a bit wider. So in this case I'm just going to make it about 600 pixels wide. So there are two spots that I need to sort of make that change. And um, let me just align this to the center and I'm just going to hit publish. Great. So the widget's ready. So let's have a look on the actual website that's going to sort of be displayed at the event. So I'm just going to refresh the website. Great. So we've got a widget in place here, and this is what you want your projector to, to point to. So we haven't yet launched the event, so let's just go right into Cover It Live and launch the event. Launch event now. And what happens is you get a, a console to manage the entire event. So the console pops up. And in a few seconds, you'll get a pop-up that says, do you want to begin your live event right now? So just say yes. I'm just going to say welcome. Before I say welcome, it says, you know, four Twitter feeds have been validated. So whatever you've entered into the, the aggregator, that gets validated. And um, the event has... So you'll notice is... As people keep tweeting in the event and as they keep using the hashtags, these tweets keep showing up. And um, if you go to your website, this is what the projector is sort of pointing to, and this is what your guests at the event see. Once the event's complete, you just go back to your console. You know, you say thanks for attending. Hit send and hit close. 
you really want to end this event right now, just say yes. And what you guess see is this. So that's how you set up a Twitter wall for your event.